Hello, my name is Prime and welcome back to ATS Showcases and today I'm going to be doing my first look of the brand new Kenworth T684 American Truck Simulator, the 100th anniversary edition truck to be exact. Given that this is the first stage of the implementation of the brand new T680, there's not a whole lot of customization to be done. So for the 100 year special edition, pretty much everything is set in stone from the configuration chassis wise of the truck all the way to the configurations of some of the exterior components. Components. But as a quick overview, as of right now, we have the 76 inch sleeper option. We only have the 6x4 long chassis option. There are four Packard engines available for this truck, ranging from 430 horsepower up to 510. There is one 12 speed Packard transmission. There is one interior trim level, which is the signature edition for the 100 year Kenworth celebration. In terms of paint jobs, this is maybe where you have the most customization around the truck, as there are plenty of different metallic options to choose from, and of course, you can do your custom paint schemes as well. In terms of exterior accessories, there isn't a ton to choose from. You can turn on and off a couple options, but overall everything is set in stone. Uh, in terms of the bumper, you can add aero parts. The aero parts are mainly what you can change uh, to some degree. You can't get rid of all of them, but you can get rid of a few and uh, customize the look of the truck. In terms of the tires, you can also change the tire types as well, just depending on what DLCs you may have. If you don't have any of the tire DLCs, that being uh, uh, the Goodyear or Michelin tire DLC, then you are going to see your more standard American Truck Simulator Dynamax and Roadmaster tires. The interior customization is a very similar story as it will completely depend on what kind of extension packs or DLCs you have for customizations within your interior. For example, you can add a cell phone or standard GPS to the windshield. However, there is a built-in one in the dash anyways. So overall, not a whole lot to customize on this T680 as of right now in American Truck Simulator. But as I did mention, this is the first phase of the implementation of the brand new T680, at least as of recording this video in a few months. SDS Software is planning on releasing the remaining customization options for the brand new T680. So for today's delivery, we're here in Colby, Kansas, and we're going to head down to Dodge City, uh, going through Garden City here, an area where we haven't explored quite yet. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting delivery indeed, hauling some empty pallets today uh, with our brand new T680. And of course, we got an Audible box trailer on the back to haul those empty pallets to our destination. Let's go ahead and get this Packard powered T680 started up and get on the road. I should also note that there are no mods on this profile today, so everything you see in here is American Truck Simulator for all it's worth. And I must say, this engine sound is actually pretty good. And just before we roll away here, let's take a look at the interior. The amount of detail and quality within this cab is absolutely insane. Starting off, the digital mirrors. The Anniversary Edition only has digital mirrors, yet it also has an extra mirror as well. Uh, you will notice that it always has mirrors traditionally, but it also has the beautiful digital mirrors with blind spot detection as well, because at the bottom of the normal mirrors, there are the cameras uh, mounted to the bottom of them. Uh, but overall, the rest of the interior, plenty of gauges as we know and love here in Kenworth's trucks and the dash a multi-page dash with plenty of different menus and lots to look at. I like seeing all the different information indeed. And as we spin around to the back of the truck, beautiful, beautiful trim here with the 100th anniversary specialty trim. Looks really good to me. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get rolling. Hopefully everyone's doing well. I certainly am. And for those who have been watching recent uh, ATS Showcases episode, uh, yes, you are correct. This is not a heavy haul. In fact, this is not any form of special transport either. Um, yeah. Plans have changed once again. I pretty much jinxed it last time out here. Uh, so I guess that's kind of a good thing. Maybe not. I mean, hey, I'm not going to complain. We got a brand new truck that looks really good. And also, it is a long-awaited addition to the game as well. We have been wanting the brand new revision. I should actually use, you know, my mirrors. That would be a, a novel approach, wouldn't it? Um, it's, been a wait it's been a long time coming here for the T680 having some form of either revision or a brand new truck at the end of the day and this is what it is so you can still get the 2014 version yes the 2014 version of the t680 within american truck simulator uh, however this is now i believe technically the 2022 model year uh t680 or at least what it's based off of uh, obviously this truck i would assume is the 2023 however the 100th anniversary trim and along with this truck 
very, very nice. And I am happy that SES Software, along with Kenworth in collaboration, have been able to get this truck out so quickly to celebrate, obviously, Kenworth 100 years, but also get it into the game as well. Very, very nice. Oh, we got a crop duster. Where is he? There he is. Cool. Gotta love some of those extra animations here in the Kansas DLC. Looks really quite nice. Hopefully I didn't get any of that chemical on the truck because he was still spraying the chemical uh, when he wasn't over the field. So maybe not the most ep economical uh, crop duster uh, pilot ever, but hey-ho, I guess it's the farmer paying for it. Maybe not the service, if it is a service. Uh, but uh, yeah. T680, brand new one, finally here. And uh, some of you may remember a while back now, um, I actually took a look at, at the T680 Next Gen, which this is a, that kind of similar truck, um, the mod version of it. And uh, obviously that mod has a number of customizations, uh, but obviously this is the signature edition. It, the naming convention for this truck, in honesty, is a little bit confusing because it can be called the limited edition. I've seen it called that. It's also a special edition. It's also the signature edition and the anniversary edition. I don't know, really know what you want to call it. It's special compared to the normal T680 uh, overall. Uh, but basically, it's just the top of the line. Let's put it that way. It's just like the Kenworth W900 uh, 100 year anniversary limited edition, whatever naming truck version of it. It's pretty much the top of the line uh, Kenworth W900 that you can get with all the bells and whistles with some pretty clean looking interiors as well and some exterior goodies as well to go along with it uh, overall just making the truck modern yet classic at the same time kind of bridging the gap between early days of kenworth uh way back when and of course uh the kenworth we know and love now which this truck very much represents with the modern technology within it everything uh, from of course collision avoidance you have your automatic high, uh, high beams and stuff like that, which you can actually see on the little toggle there. Uh, the automatic symbol is on, which is kind of neat, um, along with the daytime running lights. All the bells and whistles, uh, different specialty air ride suspension uh, that's simulated within the game, of course. Uh, different, I believe, an idle management system or something like that. I'm not quite sure what that is, uh, to be honest. It, it light me down in the comments. If you happen to know what that is, that would be fantastic. I'd love to know. Uh, there's a lot of technology that is bottled within this truck and in real life is featured in the truck. And I guess it also is here in game as well. But it is, uh, it's really nice overall just to finally have it. I think that's something a lot of the community can agree. And I think we actually pull up. Yep. Yeah, oh, that's a Freightliner. I thought that was a, uh, another T680. Don't hit my truck. The brand new truck. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Uh, their AI. I really don't feel like getting this beautiful looking truck scraped up. I'm going to try and... No, I can't even see, but I'm going to creep my way out here and just a little bit of a prayer that no one comes up there. Yeah, we're, I think we're safe. Not what you should be doing, but what I am doing <laughs> at the end of the day. When I was going through the customization, or shall I say the colors, of this truck, because yes, regrettably, not a whole lot to customize as of right now, but within the coming months, there should be more on that. Uh, just general customizations in terms of accessories, and of course, we're going to assume the day cab in uh, mid-roof versions will be coming as well, fingers crossed. However, when change choosing the color, I was trying to decide what way to go with this delivery. Obviously, in the, some of you may notice, uh, the general color schemes I like to use for either certain types of videos or just what my taste is, and I try and diversify because obviously I have a certain kind of taste or flavor if you want to and style in terms of trucks and configurations but I know everyone else kind of has their own taste as well so I try and make it yes clean look realistic and not just some chaotic combo but at the same time sometimes sometimes those chaotic combos are actually really good uh, so I when I was going through today when I hit this red color which is two in the game and this is the slightly lighter variant I immediately thought with the black accents on the truck this looks incredibly sporty. Incredibly sporty. It's almost like, um, <laughs> it's almost like if you buy the sport trim of pretty much any car where you have like the black accents of trim and then it's, you know, some form of brighter color, generally speaking, or even if it's white, um, it just looks really sharp, uh, especially on the nice, on, on an angle profile. The truck looks really, really good. It's a really clean build. I do quite enjoy it. And so I thought, in terms of trailer, I could use a standard white box trailer. 
I could. Or I could use a black metallic box trailer and just doing the same animation over and over again saying their game. I do appreciate your <laughs> lack of d diversification on this, uh, the cinematics when it was supposed to be some really nice uh, clear shots in the really flat area here of Kansas, and I think my mouse sensitivity is mighty high today, so I do apologize if the camera movement is a little bit more uh, abrupt, shall we say. I just thought this truck looked really sharp as soon as I picked the color, because really that's all you can do. Uh, the little bit of black accent, or the, quite a few black accents, I should say, with the little bit of chrome with the red looks really clean. However, the all black looks mighty sharp as well. Uh, the silver looks really good. And to be honest, the all the custom or all the stock metallic colors look really good on this truck. Kind of makes sense. Those are the factory colors after all. It does mention it uh, in the little info thing of the paint job itself that it is technically a factory part. So they are replicated colors from what you can get in the Kenworth in real life. But just look at that. Beautiful looking truck. Pretty good sounds as well. Obviously, this is a more economy. Well, I say economy. It's a pretty expensive truck, but it is a more highway economy geared in terms of fuel efficiency uh, type of truck. Not your, well, W900, <laughs> the one that is made to haul the crazy heavy goods. Um, this is definitely your more highway cruiser. Very comfortable. Uh, supposedly in real life to drive in and I, a few of you have, have actually pointed out to me about these more modern trucks and how comfortable they are to ride the air ride suspensions and seats uh, everything about it is just uh, very much convenience as you can tell by the amount of buttons on the steering wheel so if you're driving in real life everything's that's really needed is that sums uh, kind of reach there uh, everything is just really comfortable nice and quiet in the cabin and the digital mirrors are nice because they're right on the the, uh, the pillars so you don't have to look very far. <laughs> don't have to look far at all. Uh, so that is quite nice as well. Besides that, there's just lots of nice little convenience in this truck, as I mentioned. Oh, we're going into Garden City here, which is nice. And actually, probably should stay in the left lane, uh, as we will be uh, going left onto the highway. Um, it's just a lot of nice modern conveniences and safety features as well within this truck, kind of adding to the overall feel of it. Would it be nice to get some different models into American Truck Simulator? Sure, I don't think any of us would disagree on that. However, finally getting the revision of one of the trucks that, to be honest, I really haven't used a whole lot up until this point, but I think that will change right now because, well, it actually serves the name of Kenworth and the model itself, the, the T680, some justice. All due credit to SES Software in the 2014 version of the truck. Uh, or I guess it'd be 2016 version in terms of American Truck Simulator uh, when it released. However, it really needed some love. We finally got a new version of it. Of course, you can still get the older version and it is great in its own right. However, with all the other brand new trucks that have been released for the game since, it's definitely fallen down the tier, just like uh, a few of the Peterbilt's as well, to be honest. Um, in my opinion, the other trucks have really taken kind of a precedence over uh, the T680 it's, we'll talk about specifically today because, well, it they're new. They've got more customization options. They look better, high, just higher quality. We're talking many years difference in terms of uh, graphical capabilities and, uh, well, just SES software knowledge as well uh, because they have admitted to learning. And as, as we all do, oh, there's a water park over here. Looks like kind of an indoor, outdoor park. Neat. Um, it's just a lot. There's a lot of changes that happen, and that's perfectly fine. It's the way it is, and that's a good thing. Uh, there needs to be some learning, and just the quality that is uh, being brought into the game now in the collaboration with the top brands uh, in North America is definitely something uh, that is very, very exciting for us ATS players, and it just opens the door for so many new things. From Peterbilt and Kenworth, obviously, all uh, with any of the pack car group basically vehicles there's a strong bond that is quite evident uh with SES software and, and the pack car group which is very very good as is, uh, as we've just got uh in the last update the pack car technical center and then also plenty of daf trucks as well which for those who don't know on the european side daf is part of the pack car group i honestly didn't know that until a few of you uh, great community members pointed that one out to me so i do appreciate that one um 
So we got to make a left-hand turn here. I don't... Yeah, unfortunately, that's a solid. So I was going to say I could have turned left there, but can't do that. I would be breaking the law. I'm normally used to left-turn lanes. It's kind of odd that they didn't uh, have a dedicated lane there, but I guess it's just because of the sake of the median. Also, maybe future expansion. You never know. Lines on the road are a beautiful thing. Uh, but no, there's definitely a great bond between the SES software and the Packard group, something that, well, leads to developments like this. A pretty quick, supposedly, turnaround of this truck to get it out for everyone, hence why there's really no customization options to it. But hey, I'll take it. Brand new truck. It's one we've been waiting a long time for. We kind of get a, almost a teaser in some ways uh, to what the full release of the T680 will be. Uh, that being with the different chassis options and customizations and so on. And that's just down the road. Well, I'm going to assume, well, it's going to be new year at this point, uh, but a few months away, supposedly. So we'll have to uh, see what kind of news comes out on that. And obviously, for those who are maybe new around the channel, def or for those who want to learn more about the T680, definitely keep an eye out on the channel for the Prime News videos, because I will be definitely covering uh, that, well, whenever either the truck straight up releases with all the extra customizations, or the customizations get released within most likely a future update. Uh, for example, like 1.5, 1.51 or something like that. Can't believe that we're going to be hitting the one point five because <laughs> we're at 1.49 right now so it's pretty crazy that we're already hitting that point we better get to the right hand actually never mind they're emerging over we're just gonna stay over here beautiful stuff lots of conquer oh it looks like uh win uh, wind turbine blades and various concrete tubes for them interesting very interesting indeed Yes, we're going to be doing a heavy haul next episode. I know I've been saying this for like three episodes now. I do apologize. Uh, things happen. And I thought, a first look of this truck probably takes precedent over uh, doing a one of the longest heavy haul. I know. Oh, we got to stay on the road there, Prime. Appreciate it, bud. Be good if you don't get the truck dirty either. It's just staying pristine somehow on this entire delivery, which is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> we won't talk about that, though. Uh, but no, it's... a. Uh, it, it needs to happen, and it will happen. I'm just putting it out there. It's going to happen. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, it's, it's yeah, it, there's no excuse. Uh, first couple push-offs were because of other factors that I had no control over, and I still don't have any control over this, but I thought a, new, a brand new truck kind of needs to happen, and I was considering doing the long haul with this anniversary edition truck. However, I really don't feel that this truck, as of current state, with the anniversary edition and the lack of customization, I don't feel it really fits the heavy haul bill. Maybe the same as, I don't know, the W900 could? Um, or the Western Star, well, I'll choose one of the Western Stars, really, other than the 57X. I just feel like maybe one of the ones with um, the possibility of doing an 8x6 chassis may be the better bet uh, for a heavy haul especially one of the longest well actually the wrong longest route which i will be doing um that is uh, i i just thought you know what this truck may not be best suited for it so let's do a, a a delivery that is suited for it uh just your bog standard delivery let's call it that box trailer haul in some just general goods and this uh, at this point we're just taking empty pallets back and uh yeah we just go in that route with it which is always good it's always nice to have these kind of deliveries uh, as well. You got to balance it out. You can't just go one way or the other. Uh, however, it is kind of just nice to have uh, that little bit of balance in episodes as well. Trying out a new truck is always good. And obviously, as I just kind of mentioned, next episode will be the heavy haul. Don't you worry about that. I will be doing that. And then we'll get back probably in this Kenworth. Uh, T680, and we'll do some other deliveries with a different, com well, different color of the truck, and maybe I'll try to have a slightly different configuration on it if I can uh, try and figure that one out, but other than that, it's going to be uh, pretty much the same, and I think that's something we can all expect, but I'll do a different style and send it more of the sporty side where you're really, where I'm really kind of pulling out uh, the black accents and really kind of accentuating that uh, with the color. I'm going to make it more of the uh, more classic. I know, I know the classic beeping. I get it. Just trying to give the people behind us more space, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna maybe just take a different avenue to it. Uh, more just go the clean, um, 
executive, let's call it that, clean executive look, which I'll do next. As we roll up here into Dodge City, it is a lovely looking evening here in ATS. We started about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon in game. And uh, well, what is beeping at now? I'm not even close to anything there, Kenworth. Uh, one downside of the uh, various safety systems. They have a true mind of their own. Now, where do I have to reverse this thing into? Oh, over here. Beautiful. Okay, well, let's uh, swing around this way and turn up and around. Nice quiet ride so far, what I've experienced on these Michelin tires. A few of you actually pointed out, which is a good fair a thing to say, if there's actually a difference between the Goodyear and Michelin tires. Um, I wish I could give you a better answer than I don't really know. Uh, however, I think a few people have potentially tested it, and the newer or the higher end Goodyear or Michelin tires will actually work better in different situations, so like rain performance or even road noise is slightly different. My camera work is atrocious. I do apologize. I'll try and stick on this mirror a little bit here. Oh, my camera is moving around. Yeah, mouse sensitivity is very, very high. I normally have it lower for these things, uh, so it's not an absolute puke fest. However, I must have hit the button on my mouse today or something. Oh, and... Uh, or a setting in game, and it is not very happy. I may have actually just reversed this by by the mirror. Not something I generally do. I mean, it's not, don't get me wrong, it's not perfectly straight, but for prime simulation standards, that's really not half bad, you know. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. What a fantastic first look of the brand new Kenworth T680. A wonderful truck, one that I will be doing plenty of deliveries in now that it has, well, a better facelift and a more modern look, one that kind of suits the name of Kenworth uh, a lot better in my opinion. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.